The word thermistor means a thermal resistor, that is a device, the resistance of which changes depending on the temperature. Thermistors are non-linear devices with parameters that hugely differ. There exist two main thermistor types. Thermistors with a negative temperature coefficient and those with positive one. Special attention is usually given to the more popular thermistors with a negative temperature coefficient, which are also spread widely in modern electronics. These resistors are highly sensitive, narrow-range, non-linear devices, the resistance of which decreases when the temperature goes up. In their essence, thermistors are semiconducting ceramics. Conducting metal surfaces are welded to the casing of such ceramics, along with the terminals. Usually a finished product is covered with epoxy or glass. Thermistors commonly have a disc-like section and are shaped as rods of various sizes. Some thermal resistors come as squares or small bits. We have already mentioned earlier that thermistors are in fact resistors. This means that provided their temperature remains unchanged, the Ohm's law would apply here. Actually, even several milliwatts of power would be enough to increase the thermistor's temperature by one degree, while the resistance of these devices decreases by 4% per degree Celsius. If subjected to high power, a thermistor would act as a negative resistance. That is, the resistance on it would decrease when the current goes up. Thermistors are widely used in many fields of electronics, especially when special control over the temperature process is required. This is specifically true for computer equipment, data transmission devices, highly efficient CPUs and high-frequency industrial equipment. One of the simplest examples of how a thermistor can be used is efficient limitation of the lift of current. When a power supply unit is connected to the mains, the capacitance gets changed due to the high current flowing through the primary circuit. Schematically, the current is limited to the thermistor only, so this element changes its resistance depending on the current flowing through it due to the heating. The thermistor restores its initial resistance when cooled down, which doesn't take longer than a couple of minutes.